Welcome to this video. Here I have a JavaScript file with a canvas reference and a context object for it. Let me show you how to measure the width of text on a canvas. Step number one is to specify which font should be used. Then we use context.measureText and here you put your text string and this returns a text metrics object. So let's save that. The text metrics object contains properties for the dimensions of our text. We get the width of our text from the width property. And that's it. Now we have a variable called text width and it contains the width of our text. As an example, I will now use this to create a small banner with the text Autobot code and my robot mascot on the right. Let's get rid of this stuff. I will start by setting the width of the canvas. I want it to be 500 and the height should be 150. For the font, I will be using 65 pixels serif. Next up, let's get the text width. So we use context.measureText and I want the text to be Autobot code. And here I will just grab the width directly. I will set the text baseline to middle so we can center the text vertically and then draw the text on the canvas. I will set the X coordinate to zero to align it on the left side and the Y coordinate to 75 so it's centered vertically. Here is what it looks like in the browser. I have given the canvas a black border so we can see where it is. Now let's load the robot image. I have it in a file called robot.png and once the image is loaded we will use context.drawImage and set the x offset to be our text width variable. This will make the image appear on the right side of the text. Back in the browser, this is what it looks like. We have the text Autobot code on the left side and immediately to the right we have the robot. If we change the font, for example by making this only 45 pixels serif, then we should still have the text Autobot code followed immediately by the robot image. And there we have it. Thanks for watching.